Thank you. Uh, I'm Jun Saruna uh, from Kyoto University. Uh, today I'm talking <coughs> about the seamless uh, or seamless rating and very solution in a very easy to cross this barrier to scale for the introduction. Uh, the structure of uh, my post theory is very well known. You know, uh, potential is given by this. And the problem and the control of the depends on the size of the square. So, M scale is if M scale is positive, that it is uh, a broken base, and the X scale is negative, it is a uh, broken base. Right? But a uh, phase structure of two scalar theory is unknown. So, maybe the potential is given by this, and uh, by four but Force, 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 and force, and square, square. And, and in four dimensions, uh, we found that the uh, master case, so this uh, master of the case, and uh, once, uh, and in that case, one star field has a, a vacuum extension value, right? So if the massless case, the in the vacuum, the one star field have a vacuum extension value, and the other have not. This implies the two star theory has a non trivial phase structure. Obviously, OL plus OL star model is three or four dimensions, and the Lagrangian is given by this, and this is euclidized. For simplicity. And I use these parameters are their parameters. And for n equal 1, this model corresponds to the D2 cross D2 invariant to scalar models. So D2 is a flip of sign of field. In fact, in the larger limit, so n equals to infinity, we can calculate the LP potential exactly including all order loop effects. Today, I want to talk about uh, two, po two points. One point is the phase diagram in three dimension. Uh, in this case, so kappa, kappa zero, of crossing square, square term uh, in coupling a strong case. The phase diagram like this. So they like broken phase, one broken phase, and one broken phase, and one broken phase. And the axis is like this. Yes. Uh, we take the self coupling the uh, same for simplicity. And for uh, square square terms are so uh, weak compared to the self coupling terms, the phase diagram yeah, becomes like this. Yeah. Both broken phase and one broken phase, one broken phase and one broken phase. And so on. Yeah. And two points. Second point is that yeah, the massless case in four dimensions. So maybe I told you at the beginning. The one star have the wave and the another have the not. And this can be applied for uh, uh, the dynamical generation of weak scale. As Kawai san said, and this uh, we we study this model, so standard model, uh, standard model for us, SM single two scalars, maybe phi and of psi. Yeah. <coughs> okay. 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 An introduction and a uh, field structure in three dimension. And uh, if I have time, I, mean, I want to talk about uh, dynamical generation of weak scale in four dimensions. And a uh, conclusion, not future works. Okay, let's start from uh, phase structure in three dimensions. 
Al ministerio de Yahweh, incluso hoy en día, hay dos que hay. And we want to calculate the effective potential in the larger limit. Uh, I, the point is that, rewriting the three potential here can be a real a, written as a quadratic, quadratic form of fields and introducing the auxiliary fields. Let's calculate the LT potential. Rewriting the three volume potential, I suppose the term as a second term, term, can be written in the matrix form like this. I love the is coupling matrix, so large phi square, capital phi square as a fields, as vectors. Right? And large M square of zero is the mass as vectors. Uh, this is a very quadratic quadratic <coughs> form of fields. Okay, and maybe this can be written as this, ignoring the constant terms. And this can be written in the quadratic term are with uh, of the <coughs> So if we use the uh, uh, equation of motion of C of the fields, we can recover this, recover this expression. <clears throat> and this form is a quadratic term of high field. So we can come, we can uh, exactly from a first integral of five field, uh, five fields. Let's continue to calculate the field potential. <coughs> okay. uh, we follow the, the procedure of Coleman and Weinberg. We, we set the uh, phi and the psi uh, separated, separated the from wave and the fluctuation like this. And the drop and we substitute it in the, this form, uh, this expression, and the drop is a linear term of fluctuations. Okay, then we get this. Right? And we in integral, uh, integral, integral, integrate this fluctuation. This in in integration gives the uh, uh, log terms, maybe like this, to the effective potential. And we also we have the C integral, C integral of cell field integral. But uh, we are uh, we are considering a larger limit here. So C integral is equivalent to the substituting the value of the stationary point for C in the larger limit. This is the uh, same in the classical limit. So. Uh, this uh, first integral of LT potential from the this and uh, this becomes like this. So, a little complicated. Okay. So, we get the uh, N over LT uh, potential equal to this. And um, again, the value of C. A C is a function of phi uh, fields. It's determined by uh, a derivative of the effective, effective potential is zero. Uh, this is a uh, classical, uh, classical region. Okay, in three dimensions, uh, this, this expression is a universal in four dimensions, uh, three dimensions, a dimension, uh, dimension dependent form. And in three dimensions, this term, trace log minus delta square plus ci, is more like this, momentum integral. And we execute the integration, we get this. Uh, we, uh, we use a uh, cut-off regularization lambda 
okay and so FD potential becomes like this and, and there is a linear divergence of lambda cut off here so we have to denormalize this divergence to by you know uh, definition of bare mass uh, mass squares this and this and we define the isomorphism mass here like this then we get the final expression of effective potential like this okay and uh, we want to see, uh, know the vacuum that is, we want to know the minimum point of this FT potential. So, the FT power, the extreme condition is maybe the, we want to derivative the field of the FT potential. And this becomes, in fact, this becomes an explicit dependence. Uh, uh, <coughs> uh, yes. The derivative of the explicit pi pi dependence remains only. Only the derivative of the explicit pi pi dependence remains from uh, del c v x equal zero. So the remain uh, the term uh, the the term which remains is this and uh, like this. So, in order to find the minimum, we solve the del C VF in the cases, so both of C as 0 and C1 and Psi as 0 and C2 non 0, or C2 and Phi as 0 and C1 non 0, and Phi and Psi as 0 and C1 and C2 are 0, and compare the values of VF. Okay, so we get this picture. At least, you So in this case, uh, we, I showed uh, at the beginning like this, and I have a comment. Uh, there is no phase, at this case, there is no case where the uh, vacuum excitation values of both fields are non zero. So, uh, two, both fields, uh, <coughs> maybe you, uh, you expect it the uh, phase here, here, because the uh, uh, masses are uh, negative, but there is no phase, no such a phase. Uh, this can be interpreted as these are oh, square square terms are prevent prevented. These terms uh, are large. So if uh, phi and psi are not non zero, these terms contribute uh, prevent the uh, uh, this this term becomes large. And th that is not the minimal uh, minimum point. Second a uh, one book phase exists in a region where mass squares are positive, like this, like this, like this. So, uh, this is because of the loop effect, loop contribution to the effective potential. And next, as a couple, so, square square couplings are small. Case, it a phase structure becomes like this, and I have a few two two points. But, uh, phase, uh, the phase diagram is the same as the pipe theory. Maybe so. If the mass scales are negative, then so there will be broken phases, broken phases, and the boundary is this, this. This line is uh, a, a region where the 
A potential can be negative. So the potential can be used in this form. And uh, we, this can be used uh, in this, like this. So M large M is negative. So maybe can, the potential can be negative. So this is here. This line is here, right? Okay. I have a time and I want to talk about the four dimension <coughs> case. In four dimensions, uh, we have uh, not to get to analyze the entire field structures. It is difficult uh, because of log tax. But we will have studied the massless case, oil, also oil invariant model in four dimensions. So I <coughs> talk about it. Uh, the, again, uh, the Lagrangian is like this, massless case, massless case. <clears throat> uh, as in three dimensions, the effective potential can be calibrated exactly in the large L limit. Uh, here we take the law is smaller than log five, or without the loss of generality. <clears throat> Calculation is uh, almost the same as uh, in the three dimensions, but the momentum in Taylor is different. So, trace of logs minus delta plus ci equals like this, and this integral is different, like this. Mm. Okay. So, the effective potential is like this. The difference is here. So, quadratic divergence and the log divergence. Right? And we have to renormalize the divergence. Okay, uh, here, quadratic divergence and the log divergence. And we take the renormalized renormalize quantity and like this. Uh, here, we take the a renormalized mass is a zero, so massless case we consider. <coughs> and these are the renormalized couplings. So the final expression of LFT potential in four dimension becomes this. Okay. Okay. So after comparing the value of the effective potential, we find the minimum point is this. So maybe the psi is zero and the pi is non-zero, and the expons uh, exponentially, exponentially suppressed. <laughs> okay. Can we use this to explain the origin of the scale by coupling this model to the standard model? And the answer is yes. Let us change the Higgs sector of standard model like this. Uh, so this is uh, maybe the two scale Lagrangian, and of course this is Higgs set couplings, and this uh, couple phi and of psi help uh, to couple to Higgs. And we take that this is negative. This is a point. And here we introduce the phi and of psi at the same as a standard model of singlet. See where it is current. As we studied pretty previous sections, the vacuum expectation values are five. Five, five have vacuum expectation values. So the, this term gives the negative mass term of Higgs field. So this becomes like this. So then the mix scale is reproduced dynamically. So we, we don't have, uh, we don't need, don't need to fine tune no, this, uh, introduce the Higgs mass scale mass term. Okay. Let me conclude my talk. Uh, we studied oil cross oil scalar model in three or three, four dimensions in the larger 
In three dimensions, it has no trivial phase structure. In four dimensions, we have not studied it completely yet, but one scalar field has a vacuum excitation value, even in the ma uh, massless case. And this can be used for a dynamical generation of weak scale. Also, I talk uh, future works. We continue to the phase structure in four dimensions. And the order of phase transition, the first order, second order, third order. <coughs> uh, and also, a mo uh, uh, models with more than two scalar fields are interesting, I think. <laughs> and if the uh, L, uh, 1 over n collection is considered, what does it become? <coughs> and uh, this is uh, universal or peculiar to the larger limit. Thank you. This is my end of my talk. So, so you, uh, in four dimensions, you find that uh, one scalar has uh, no expectation value, but the other has. Yeah. So, define some non trivial fixed point in terms of the uh, uh, uh. uh, So, <coughs> We use uh, the fact that uh, there is a uh, this. We use the fact that there is a, a scale as a low mu is zero, but this is uh, the general general situation. For a pair, uh, this is this satisfies is if the bare parameters are positive. Yeah. I think the question is whether this is a fixed point or not. Yes, so uh, 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 this is uh, non trivial four dimensional two scale Yeah. But, yeah. But everything is massive. Oh, in one of them, two are taken to be zero. Yeah, uh, but uh, since Phi has expectation value. Uh, and, uh, Sorry, this is uh, Japanese, in the Japanese. <laughs> but, so maybe, uh, yes, phi and the phi is, uh, gets a ma um, mass. Uh, okay. uh, Would it be interesting to consider like a 4D theory but compatible with the circle? So you have an interpolation between the 3D and 4D in one. Yeah, yeah. okay, so have you thought about, uh, so now you have to study the 3D yeah, yeah. case and there, there's an interesting phase structure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right, and uh, now we want to study the 4D. Yeah. So would it be interesting to consider uh, a higher dimension? No, just a four dimension, but oh. on the circle. Yeah, on, on S1 times R3, ah. there is some interpolation, and then you also have an additional scale ah. being the size of the ah. 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 circle. Ah. 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 And then you can probably, without introducing maths for some of them, they use the curvature. 